Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're going to do things a little bit differently. So we're going to be going over all the new changes that are coming to Dead by Daylight. I am joined by another content creator, Captain Tryhard. You want to say hello? Yeah, what's up, everybody? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Absolutely. So we're going to have his link down in the description. Uh, so guys, make sure to go check out his channel. He does a lot of Let's Plays, things like that. But today we're going to be talking about a game that he has been playing a lot here lately, which is Dead by Daylight. So we're going to be talking about Dead by Daylight. They just had their sixth anniversary broadcast where they talked about a lot of what's upcoming to Dead by Daylight. I know that they had spoke about a new uh, character. I know they had talked about a new killer. So Captain Tryhard is here to kind of fill us in and let us know why we should be excited for this. Now is the best time to be playing Dead by Daylight, guys. I know every new year they come out with a new survivor and a new killer. We all get excited about that. We're going to talk about those changes in just a minute or two. But the quality of life changes that are coming to DBD are fantastic. Something as small as preset loadouts where you can change your perks and cosmetics. You know, main update for the visuals is fantastic. But one thing I really like is the matchmaking incentives. And I know you guys just are very used and custom to Dead by Daylight having long queue times. But now based on what's needed in your server, there's gonna be blood point bonuses. If you're playing at four o'clock in the morning and they need more survivors, you'll get a 50% bonus to blood points if you queue a survivor. If they need killers, you'll get the 50% there. So it allows people to earn more money and make queue time shorter, which I think is a win on all sides. That is actually really cool. That is one reason why for a long time I have played Dead by Daylight. I am not super into it the same way that I used to be. That is actually very, very cool. The fact that you'll be able to earn more blood points just for playing either a role that you already were planning on playing or to play a role that is kind of new to you to kind of keep the game fresh and speaking of new Sobi, they're bringing new changes to custom games in custom games you're actually allowed to put bots so you can put bots as a survivors or a killer so that way you could practice different things instead of getting five friends and roping them in for an hour just to test a new build or learn a new killer yeah that's actually really cool because i know that i have a couple of friends of mine who actually prefer to play killer so to be able to actually play with them again just by adding in a bot that actually sounds pretty cool in the world of Dead by Daylight, perks are very dominant, especially a handful of them, Sobi. Like Dead Hard, Windows of Opportunity, Devour for Killers, all these kind of stuff. And the devs actually said that they're going to be changing around 40 perks by the end of this year. So that way the whole meta is going to be changed. There's going to be new combinations of things that we don't even know about. And it's going to bring some freshness into the world of Dead by Daylight. So this makes me very hopeful for the game to continue to evolve and grow. That is a, yeah, that is a lot of perks to be changing. 40 perks all together but i mean i guess i kind of understand that though because whenever i was playing that i remember there was always just some perk that was either just out of reach or something along those lines that i was always trying to strive for and to get so that way i could try to have like the best survivor that i could possibly have yeah of course i mean you want to play the game to the best of your abilities and dead by daylight kind of requires as it currently is now a lot of grinding to get the blood points to level up different characters to unlock like their teachable perks to get to it so i'm really glad that they're bringing changes Changes to how the prestige system works so now after you prestige your tier one perks that are teachable are now available to all survivors that you have and tier two and tier three each time you prestige and the biggest thing is when you prestige your character you're not going to lose your points you're not going to lose your items your perks and all this kind of stuff so it's going to make getting all these perks on different characters especially new characters so much easier so that way you don't have to spend millions of blood points loving up this character just to get the particular build that you want on somebody new yeah that's actually really funny that you would mention that because literally all of the survivors that I normally have, they're sitting at like level 50 or like level 40 and I haven't touched them and I'm not putting blood points into them anymore. Uh, so, okay, so it sounds like there's a lot more going on here than just a new killer and a new survivor. So are there other things that they're bringing out as well? Well, they're doing for the first time ever a partnership with the beautiful anime that is Attack on Titan. So they're getting some cool cosmetics. So like Dwight's going to be dressed up as Eren. The Oni's going to be dressed up as Armor Titan. And there's so many other characters we haven't seen yet, which is really cool. But going into the characters themselves, man, the new killer is based on the boogeyman. And this character is gnarly looking. He's all the souls of the lost like city, village, if you will, combined into one thing. He can teleport between lockers, shuts off the whole world 
world's lights essentially so you're in total darkness it's like the devs took among us and say let's make among us into a horror game and bringing it to dead by daylight and that's exactly what this killer is oh that is super super nifty okay uh now tell us about the new survivor because i know that they're bringing one out what's up with them so heidi car is a new survivor she was actually mentioned a couple times if you paid attention to the tomes she was appearing here and there her main thing is flashlights so she has a couple different abilities one of the favorites that i like playing with is when you search through an empty treasure chest you can find a flashlight so that way you can stun the killer what i think is even better is her vision perk so vision is very important dead by daylight knowing where things are and at a certain point can make or break the game so vision is very important in dead by daylight and one of her perks directly affects vision her ability inner focus it's very good especially for new players one thing that this perk does it allows you to see the scratch marks of other survivors so immediately you're going to be able to see what the killer sees you know what the killer is going to chase and maybe that can help you protect your ally maybe take a hit for them or maybe get away so you don't die the other side to this perk is the ability to see the killer's aura so whenever a fellow ally survivor is damaged within your vicinity i think it's 30 something meters you're able to see where the killer is on the map so all that information you have you communicate it to your teammates and that might make the difference between dying or living okay yeah because i could i could definitely see that i used to run a claudette perk that anytime somebody was hooked and the killer was in that certain vicinity you would be able to see the killer on the map everybody would so that's actually like those two perks together i mean i'm already thinking those two perks together could be incredible i think it's going to be a lot of fun taking these perks and mixing them up with other ones it's going to be allow for a lot of fun with this character especially I mean, all these vision perks are always fun but like the flashlight and maybe with the reworks that are coming i definitely see dead by daylight taking a turn from instead of just these generic ones maybe like a flashlight build the stunts persist even if they have a ability to block it or maybe if you flash somebody like you get bonus regeneration speed or health or all this kind of stuff so i think that's the way dbd is moving into i'm really excited to see when all these perk changes are going to come out and how they're going to interplay with her unique perks yeah absolutely now i know that there was a few other things aside from the new killer the new uh survivor we know that they're bringing out a new map they usually do uh we had talked about the prestige now i know that there was one other thing that i really wanted to talk about which was the mori rework what's going on there what is what is that all about so the mori they're changing the system completely they're actually removing the need to have an offering for it they're, they want to make the mori a more natural thing in the game so one of the changes that's been confirmed is the final mori essentially the final kill so when you're a killer and you land the final blow against the final survivor that's in the match you immediately go into a mori that's different from any of the others and you immediately kill the survivor so it's going to be very cool and we're going to see a lot more of these killers doing these gruesome deaths kind of add to that horror element that is within dbd the only i guess negative side i know it's happened to me countless times when i'm survivor and i've done it maybe once or twice when i was killer is when there's the final survivor you pick them up after you hit them and then you drop them right in front of the hatch so that way they can still escape it's kind of like like a gg like a gentleman's handshake if you will so this is going to change that completely it's going to be nothing but going out for the final kill yeah so you want to make sure that whenever you're <laughs> if it's time to escape it's time to go there's, there's no more playing around and you can't pray that the survivor uh you can't pray that the killer's gonna have a change of heart and save you one other thing with the twisted masquerade event that's coming along with all of this stuff you're gonna get full cosmetic set for the new killer and the new survivor you're gonna get 12 random cosmetics that you can earn without the game daily discounts on the shrine and a daily rotation so even a better way for you to pick up new perks this is definitely the time when this event comes out throw all your money into the game get all these kind of perks get all this kind of stuff done so that way you can get the builds that you actually want so basically we kind of we kind of went over a lot of the things that they had talked about a lot of the more potent things that they had talked about new map new killer mori rework all the prestige and perk changes so it sounds to me like they've got a lot of stuff going on and a lot of stuff coming out i'm actually pretty excited for it i'm not usually a dbd player we did used to stream it on twitch and if you guys want just so you know our twitch link is always down in the description and we'll even leave one for captain and try hard because he does stream dead by daylight almost every day on his channel we will make sure to leave that in the description is there anything else from this update that you feel is pertinent to talk about or that we should go over anything along those lines 
one last thing I want to talk about. They gave us a small tease to the upcoming chapter, and that's going to be a second Resident Evil project. This one's called Project W. Uh, we know it's going to have a rework of the RPD map, which I love because it's directly out of the game, but playing on the map, it's terrible for survivors. It's so closed off and tight, so easy for you to die. So them doing a rework of that map is going to be fantastic, and I can't wait for a new survivor, a new killer. I don't know what they're going to do. I really hope it's Lady Dimitrescu because I want Vampire Mommy in this game so bad. I will play her every day and just worship her, the ground she walks on. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, that sounds good. I mean, that there sounds like they are keeping this game alive. I mean, you know, sixth anniversary, usually on a game like this, you know, I wouldn't really say that it usually makes it to the six year mark, to the sixth anniversary mark. So the fact that they're putting this much work into it, this much time, it definitely gives you a reason why this game has been around for as long as it has. I think this game's hitting its stride right now. I think with all the changes to the UI, to the perks and everything, I think this game is trying to make sure it becomes a staple game here and for the next couple of years i think this game has a lot of room to grow you can keep expanding the roster having more killers more game modes i'm really looking forward to the future of dead by daylight and i think now is the perfect time if you haven't started playing it pick up the game come and play you can come play with Sobe, play with myself it's always a fun time well there you guys have it there is all the update news kind of condensed for you there again thank you to captain tryhard again if you guys can please give a like to this video so that way we can grow reach a broader audience and also think about checking out captain tryhard's channel again his his link will be down in the description. Also, again, both of us stream on Twitch. So please make sure you come over, drop both of us a follow. We would both very, very much appreciate it. I just want to thank you again, Sobe, for having me on. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a fantastic evening. And make sure when you guys try hard, you fail harder. So until next time, this is Sobe. See you guys next time.